welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency, Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week by witnessing the swearing-in of a new Ghana Elections Commission Chicom Commissioner, former Minister of Home Affairs, Clement Rohi. Rohi, who is a long-serving politician, is replacing Bibi Shadik, who recently passed away. President Ali, during brief remarks, congratulated Rohi on his new appointment, noting that his experience will add value to the work of the Commission. Mr. Rohi is no stranger to our country. He is no stranger to public life. And he is no stranger in his pursuit of free and fair elections, democracy, and building a country in which the rule of law defines our action and who we are as a people and as a country. The head of state affirmed his administration's commitment to democracy and ensuring the will of the people remains paramount. He also reaffirmed the government's support to the Elections Commission. The will of the people is the most fundamental right that must be respected. And the Elections Commission is tasked with that serious responsibility of ensuring that everything they do secure and protect the will of people and advance democracy and keep our country within the realm of democratic nations. That the work you do is integral to our country, integral to the development of our country, integral to the stability of our country. And you have my full support in ensuring that you continue to make decisions that are in the best interests of our country and the people and in advancing, securing and promoting democracy. President Ali also attended the funeral of a former minister and a member of parliament, Bibi Shadik. President Irfan Ali is calling on the European Union to put systems in place so that Schengen visas can be issued here. Presently, Guyanese are required to travel to a European embassy in Suriname or Trinidad to obtain Schengen visas to travel to any of the EU member states. I think that the, the EU must understand that it is in their strategic interest to have that facility here in Guyana within the next three months. And we have to find where we can get it done within the next three months, which embassy is in a position to get it done in the next three months, what you want us to do to help you to get it done in the next three months and get it done. President Ali says in the modern world in which Guyana is strategically positioned and with investors signaling their interest, it cannot be business as usual. In the next 48 hours, let us double down on this. Let us double down on this in the next 48 hours, make the appropriate noise and get this done. This is, I think this is a very, very low hanging fruit. Ease of travel and facilitating travel is critical. One of the important things of the establishment of these chambers is the people to people contact. You see, sometimes we rely on technology so much that we fail to realize the importance of people to people contact. Nevertheless, the president urged that the Chamber of Commerce be used to change the scale of business in Ghana and move away from just conducting transactions. He says the economic partnership agreement with the EU has tremendous advantages for Guyana and the CARICOM. So this is a challenge, but it's not a challenge that cannot be uh, overcome or it's not a challenge that we can derive the benefit from. It requires hard work, it requires commitment, it requires us understanding that we have to change our way of thinking, change our method. President Ali has assured members of the Civil Society Forum that civil society's involvement is critical to Ghana's development. During a discussion with the team, the head of state noted that the role of civil society has now evolved and as a result, there is greater involvement in discussions regarding national advancement. Adding to this was the important role of civil society in advancing one Ghana. To achieve this, the president emphasized the importance of discussions being a two-way street. Members of the forum expressed the gratitude for the dialogue and assured that they are willing to engage moving forward. 
President Ali was also given a curated tour of the Hyde Park Zoo, Sanctuary and the Tropical Gardens at Land of Canaan on the east bank of the Marara. The facility will be home to a variety of animals, including many from around the world. It will promote conservation, employment for various specialists, recreation for families and education for children in a safe, healthy and a serene environment. President Ali was accompanied by his son, Zayad, the Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce, Onich Walren, and the Minister of Natural Resources, Vikram Bharat. President Ali then left for Trinidad and Tobago to meet the state's leader to have bilateral discussions. President Ali and Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, held a series of meetings where discussions ranged from energy, food security, and climate change, among other areas. What we are working on is an agenda through which we can build a sustainable pathway that will bring prosperity, opportunities, and will advance the interests of the people of both Trinidad and Tobago and Guyana. We are not here to create an environment in which one party see themselves as winners. We are here to work on creating and advancing institutions and systems that will create a win-win environment for all those who are willing and ready to participate in the development and advancement of both countries. He said that there has to be a strategic approach to build out a solid path towards energy sustainability, resilience and the reliance for the CARICOM region. And unless we are ready and willing to take and make hard decisions that will allow us to confront the challenges in this global environment and to build systems and to create an environment in which we will develop the necessary capacity to confront these global challenges, then we will not be leaving a sustainable pathway for development and the prosperity of our people in the future. Acknowledging this fact, Trinidad and Tobago and Guyana, we have committed ourselves to advancing a series of actions that must position these two countries as leaders in all of these global problems. So we want to become leaders in a problematic situation. President Ali also took time out to pay respects to Trinidad and the Tobago soldiers who died in World Wars I and II by placing a ceremonial wreath at the Cenotaph Monument in Port of Spain. President Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali, President of Suriname, Chandrika Prasad Santoki, and the Trinidad and the Tobago's Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, visited the Point Lisa's industrial estates, Cova, for a tour and a meeting with executives of the National Energy Corporation of Trinidad and the Tobago Limited. The leaders met with the executives of the National Gas Company of Trinidad and the Tobago Limited and engaged in discussions on the regional future of natural gas. Trinidad's nitrogen facility was also visited. Dr. Ali also attended the Agri-Investment Forum and Expo in Port of Spain. We have the misinterpretation of rules. There is no commonality through which we interpret some regulations. The institutions exist on different standards and different rules and different regulations. We have to fix the institutions in a way that every single institution in the region operate on the same procedures, guidelines, and standards so that our people would have a common access and a common understanding as to what the procedures, the guidelines, and standards are. And it must not vary from country to country. It requires a shift in thinking, a shift in our mindset. And I'm saying to the population of this region, that this group of CARICOM leaders, we are committed to ensuring that shift occur. The political will has already been established as strong as we can. So we have to fix the institutions, the infrastructure. President Irfan Ali witnessed the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the Guyana Office for Investment and the Trinidad Agro-Processing Company, Novo Life Farms, to facilitate the company setting up an agro-processing plant in Guyana. The signing followed a tour of Novo Life Farms operations in Cova, Trinidad and Tobago by President Ali, 
Minister of Agriculture Zulfikar Mustafa, Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Hugh Todd, Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce Onij Walrand, and the Chief Executive Officer of Ghana Office for Investment Dr. Peter Ramsarup, along with other officials of the Government of Guyana. This has been the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next week.